Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the DX Attach Caliber from Kamen Rider Zero One. Now, I would assume it's supposed to be like an attache caliber. At least that's what I thought it was at first because it's like an attache case. Uh, but the toy itself actually says the attach caliber and that's kind of how it's written out in Katakana here. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um... But in any case, it's a cool tiny little suitcase that turns into a sword. And from what I've seen for pictures going forward, he's going to have uh, several of these little cases that turn into various weapons. So I think that's a pretty cool little gimmick for the weapons for this year. Uh, and it also has functionality with the prog rise keys, which is always nice. Uh, a lot of times the weapons don't always have uh, compatibility. Like I think back to like the the little weapons from ghost like the condor phone and things like that and they didn't really have like icon functionality so i always appreciate it when there's a gimmick for the weapons but also functions with the overall gimmick for the line so i'm very excited for these but giant picture of zero one here on the front of the box on the side here we see vulcan so maybe he'll also use it at some point and then here is the sword again on this side not too much going on on the bottom Let's take a look at the back you can see a cool picture of zero one there with the sword and then it just shows in case mode, sword mode, and then of course you can pop in the progress keys, which we will take a look at. It does require two AAA batteries, as you can see right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging, so let's get them out of there and we'll take a closer look. So here it is out of the packaging. It's relatively small, uh, as is the case with most Japanese roleplay toys. Definitely not going to be a super long blade by the time we're done, but I still think it looks pretty neat Obviously, it's primarily black with the neon yellow, which is obviously the color scheme for zero one But it's a tiny little suitcase. My hand actually fits in there fairly decently, which is nice uh, Two AAA batteries go in here on and off switch Speaker right there. So we'll go ahead and turn it on So it says attached caliber So he gets some more cool robotic voices there. Attach case. It doesn't say attach caliber. It just says attach case. Opens to reveal the sharpest of blade. Singular. Love it. Uh, so yeah. So that is this thing as the case. If we hit the trigger again. Attach case. Opens to release the sharpest of blade. So that's the only sound it'll make in the case form. But if you hold this button down, you can flip out the blade. So it says blade rise at this point if you hit the trigger. Just have the one generic kind of clanging sword sound. But you have some nice uh, gray plastic up here for the blade. Like I said, it's definitely not too long. You could stand it up if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, on its own. You just get that, but if you close this... If at this point you hit the trigger, it just says charge. So there you go. That is kind of the powered up attack. Uh, you'll notice that when I hit the button, it just said charge and then this uh, music stopped. And when I swing it open, it still remembers that you're charging. If you don't hit the trigger, so it's the same whether you hit the button while it's back in the case mode or if you don't. You just close the blade once to get the charge rise, open it up, it says full charge, and then you get the powered up attack mode. So that's pretty much it for this without progress keys. Back to that. I'm gonna turn this off so we can start again in the key. <laughs> we'll bring in some progress keys. So we'll start with rising hopper. You're actually going to put them in like this and you don't open them. So it'll say rising attach. Uh, if you want to take the key out, you just hold this button down here. 
and it'll pop out. So we're back to I love that. So now if we open it up, go ahead and pop it in again. So there you go, there's one attack sound with the key. So it sounds like the key makes basically the same sound, but you get two different attacks from the blade, whether you did the charge or you didn't. So the other thing, playing around with this, and now if you put the key in, So even if you put the key in in the middle, uh, it doesn't lose the fact that you're still in the middle of a charge, which I think is pretty cool. It doesn't like reset the toy or anything. I love that. Okay, so I think that's it. I was going through the directions and I couldn't really find anything else to do with the progress key. You kind of just pop it in. It has two pictures for put it in and press the trigger, but why does it have two pictures if it's telling me to do the same thing? So I'm thinking it's telling me to do it once not charged and once charged. So I've done that and I believe that's all there is, but we do have a couple more progress keys to try out. So next up we'll try shooting wolf. So you get some cool little music there. Open it up. I love this standby music. This is me hitting the button. So uh, the only thing is I do wish there was a way you could just close the case without automatically setting off the charge uh, sequence, but it doesn't really seem like that unless you turn it off. Next up, Cheetah.
Now see that time I did the full charge because I had closed it and I didn't turn it off so it still remembered that it had the full charge. And then last up, Flying Falcon. Make sure I turn this back on. So you can hear what it does if you have this turned off, it'll still prompt the sounds out of this and they'll just sound randomly out of place. I think this thing is super fun. I love the little uh, briefcase gimmick, the attache case gimmick, and then it turns into a sword. I'm really excited that he's going to have a couple more of these throughout the year. I know there's one for a gun that's coming out later on. So I'm definitely going to be checking these out. But like I said, I think the case is cool. I love the little like robot signature phrase that every one of these things seems to have. Uh, I think the sword looks cool. Sure, it could be longer, but that would also mean that it would have to be longer in case mode, which I think would look a little goofy. So I get why they did what they did. Uh, but yeah, I really think it's fun. It would be nice if it had come with like another progress key that was exclusive to this. Uh, just to one, give me another progress key and two, make it a little bit more worth the pickup. But even without, I still think it's fun. There's a ton of phrases in here. Um, well, okay, maybe not a ton, but there's enough to make it fun, I think. Uh, it's got fun in just the case mode and the sword mode. You can put the progress keys in. There's definitely combinations there to be had. So I recommend picking it up, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.